what would you like to do? Hope to see you soon! What would you like to do? Hope to see you soon! Prince, it's good to wander off the beaten path sometimes. Whoa! <laughs> At least that was sort of fun. Prince, it's good to wander off the beaten path sometimes. Detours can be the source of all sorts of discoveries. True. We might come across other travelers' abandoned belongings or usable equipment. <laughs> Spoken like a true thief. We can use this to find out about the area. If we can get it fixed up, that is. We can repair it. Just need materials. Thank you. 
Jeez, who even let these amateurs onto the racetrack? <laughs> My ears. The merchant we're looking for has a loud voice, right? So you're saying this guy might be cool? Hey, you, can we talk for a sec? Oh, come on! How'd you crash on a newbie course? It's like we don't even exist. Apparently, he's a bit hard of hearing. Great. Hey, old man, I need to talk to you. Huh? Did you say something? You're cool, right? In the flesh? Who's asking? I'm Beelzebub. Vess asked me to look for you. Vess? What's she want? She needs materials, so she wants you to come to Spino. Ah, it's true. I haven't been out that way in a while. I'll swing by after I'm done here. Vess's father asked me to look out for her after all. When are you gonna be done? Who knows? Could be today, could be next year. How the heck does that work? Listen, discovering talented racers and getting their autographs before they hit the big time is my hobby. But lately, all the novices have been hot garbage. It's infuriating. So, until I find a future star who can finish a novice class, motorbike race in lightning speed and get their signature, I'm not moving from this spot. You've got to be kidding me. good. Now I just need you to sign right here. Do that and I'll take off for Spino first thing. Give me a break. I've just got to write my name, yeah? Once you write your name, write two Kuo next to it, will ya? All right already. Let's just get this over with. Kuo's habits rubbed off on me. Anyway, my practice finally paid off, 
So I've got new wares. Have a look. Have a look. What goes through your head in the middle of a fight? How I'm gonna beat the other guy to a pulp? That's a start, but you might get better results by predicting what your enemy is going to do and reacting accordingly. You'll find it hard to lose if you're always fighting on favorable terms. Here we go. Agriculture, hunting, trade, it's pretty varied. And some bad eggs resort to thievery, of course. Bow's too tough. You can always run away and live to fight another day. <laughs> no such thing is too tough for me. Perhaps not, but I'm telling you just in case that turns out not to be true. All right, all right, fine. the only travelers out here we should think about stopping by that campsite they're using ourselves
Here we go. Well, so it goes. It looks like we're not the only travelers out here. We should think about stopping by that campsite they're using ourselves. It's a communal camp that's open to all travelers. Talk about convenient! What would you like to do? Hope to see you soon! What would you like to do? Hope to see you soon! I've done it! I finished the hoverbot. All right, forest land, here we come. What do we do about the aquanium? Should we stash it somewhere again? No, we better keep it with us. They said they've got an aquanium radar back in forest land. If that's true, trying to hide the aquanium is going to be pointless. So that's how they always seem to know exactly where to find it. Wait, if that's true, it means that taking the Aquanium with us will expose our own location. Would you mind showing me that Aquanium for a second, please? Sure. Uh -huh. Their radar is probably just a receiver, one attuned specifically to the wavelength of Aquanium. Versus sending out radio pulses that bounce off the Aquanium and back to them. Exactly. Which means all we have to do is... There. This should block the Aquanium emissions. I see, I see. You mean you understand how it works? Of course not. But whatever they just did means that Radar can't find it now, right? Right. Well, that takes care of my concerns. Time to go. Yeah! Just you wait, Forest Land Army! Why exactly did they need Anne to show them the way if they have radar? Probably because they can't call back home while they're in Sandland. This gap in their communication network is one of the few advantages we have on our side.
So, these subterranean ruins, how do we get there? We should just have to keep going south past the southwestern checkpoint. Subterranean lake ruins has got to be awfully dark and damp, right? Just what we demons like. You ever been to Forest Land, old man? No, never. We weren't even allowed to go <gasps> anywhere remotely near the border. Zeyu wanted to keep us away from it for some reason. Make sure to check your gear. Here every now and then. You never know when something you've picked up might come in handy. Got it. I'll give him a look. to take the time to stop and observe your surroundings every now and then. You just might make some exciting discoveries. And if we can find some loot as a result, even better. Fighting in cramped areas like cliffs, beware of blind spots. Getting caught off guard puts you at a disadvantage. I definitely hate to lose like that. I'll be careful. to check your gear every now and then. You never know when something you've picked up might come in handy. Got it. I'll give him a look. Here we go. 
When fighting in cramped areas like cliffs, beware of blind spots. Getting caught off guard puts you at a disadvantage. I definitely hate to lose like that. I'll be careful. entrances. Which should we use? Wait, you've already decided we're going in? Um, hello? Of course we are! It's a cave! You say that like it's an actual reason. Looks like it's worth exploring. There could be goodies in there. Watch your footing when you're climbing up to high places. Yeah, obviously. I'll be careful, though. We should keep our distance from the army base unless necessary. But I bet they've got loads of loot in there. Can't argue with that, but somehow I doubt they'd take kindly to intruders. If we can't talk you out of it, please at least try to be sneaky about it. The environment here is harsh, even by Sandland's usual standards. Sprawling desert, quicksand all around, violent sandstorms, stay alert at all times. Even we demons can't go toe to toe with Mother Nature. harsh region. It's not easy to survive here, so most don't bother trying. Even in the old days, it was far from any rivers. Been like this for a long time. I guess you really can't survive without water, huh?
We might be able to reach these inaccessible spots. Let's try to remember this spot. What goes through your head in the middle of a fight? How I'm gonna beat the other guy to a pulp. That's a start, but you might get better results by predicting what your enemy is going to do and reacting accordingly. You'll find it hard to lose if you're always fighting on favorable terms. Tire tracks? That's a sign that someone's been here before us. Following them might lead us to a useful location like a village or town. The car should also go a bit faster than it would on unpacked ground. What goes through your head in the middle of a fight? How I'm gonna beat the other guy to a pulp? That's a start, but you might get better results by predicting what your enemy is going to do and reacting accordingly. You'll find it hard to lose if you're always fighting on favorable terms. probably find traveling merchants on the main roads. They roam over Sandland, peddling their wares to all comers. Fellow travelers, huh? If we find any, let's stop and compare notes with them. Maybe it's just a matter of seeing so much water here, but this place seems almost holy to me. You're making me want to barf. Uh, my head hurts. Mine too. Huh?
It looks awfully deep. Let's use the hovercraft. It's right on the other side, but we've got no way to reach it like this. If only we could raise the water level.
Water's really rising, isn't it? Better get over there. Looks like the passage continues, but the water's too high to keep going. It looks awfully deep. Let's use the hovercraft.
Looks like a dead end. This seems to be an altar. <laughs> hey, check this out. There's something here. Something round. Not another urn, is it? Ugh, it's used! By the way, Prince, are angels real? Sure. If there are fiends, gotta be angels, right? Really? I'd like to meet one someday. Don't get your hopes up. They hardly ever come down here. Ah, pity. Like a dead end. Nothing to do but turn around, I guess. There's water running down that hole. Think it's a water slide or something? Very funny, Prince. That's just a drainage channel. But it'll be a really fun ride, right? Yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> Look out! Cover away! I was a goner. What's wrong? I'm worried about what's been making all that racket. Let's call it out and see what it is. Huh? Hey! Come on now! Prince, please stop this. Da 
Run it now! Watch out for attacks from the water!
the heck am I? I don't recognize this smell. Ugh. This air is way too pure for my taste. I feel sick. Where's Thief and the old man? Got lost, huh? Looks like it's Yells to the rescue. Come on out. It's useless to hide from a fiend. A fiend? A, a real demon? Well, well. Just look at all of you crawling out of the woodwork. You really are a demon. What are demons doing in forest land? Huh? We're in forest land? Wow, this is awesome! I've never seen a demon before! You think this is a safari? Surround them! We can't just stand by and let these filthy demons invade our home! Oh boy, not this again. Don't tell me you guys are part of the Forest Land Army too. Nah, it doesn't matter. If it's a fight you want, I'll give you one. Watch out! Demon touches you! Parroting that epi guy? Typical forest land army goon. No! He touched me! It's all over! This. this is the end for me! Quit your whining! We have to protect our country! We can't let these despicable monsters corrupt our home! Say that again, you little! White! Prince! Old man! Thief! Looks like you ran a little wild. Ha! <laughs> That'll teach him to mess with the Fiend Prince! I say they could do with more punishment. <laughs> Please! I beg you, forgive them. And? Who are you? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Longo, their commander. He helped me and Thief when we washed ashore. We owe him. Huh. My apologies for my youthful comrade's rudeness, Prince Beelzebub. Longo, how can you bow your head to a demon? That's enough, Udo. Your disrespect toward our guests, beggars relief. Guess? You mean these demons? You're not thinking of recruiting them to the resistance. The re resistance? Come. Let us discuss this further on the way. My sincere apologies, Mr. Beelzebub. Many in Forest Land fear demons, I'm afraid. Don't worry about it. That's nothing new. Here we go. 
This landscape's hostile in an entirely different way from Sandlands. The air around here is way too clean for demons. Giving me hives. Mm, tell me about it. I've got a headache already. You guys are Anne's resistor buddies, right? Those Forest Land Army creeps kidnapped her. Yes, Mr. Rao and Mr. Thief told me as much. Our scouts are monitoring Rosetta's tank brigade to try to determine the princess's location. Once they discover where she was taken, we will devote all our forces to the task of freeing her. This place is overflowing with creep. By the way, who are you exactly? You seem to be very well informed. I'm someone who failed to protect his kind and just king in his time of need. The most I managed to do for him was flee with his young, innocent daughter. Just a feeble old man, really. I've been wondering. Coups don't happen out of the blue. Pulling one off requires careful planning. Were there no signs? No. They may have had their differences, but Br What exactly was Bred hoping to achieve through his coup d'etat? Anne thought he just wanted to seize more territory for Forest Land, but is that really...? Yeah, that's something the four of us would like to know more about, too! The Swimmers? What are you doing here? What was that about how you'd never join forces with us? Or that line about how we'd never meet again, hmm? You pipe down! Are you gonna turn down a request from an old comrade? Huh? So this old man was in your band of thieves? No! I was in the rebel army! You mean to tell me you're that long ago? <laughs> That's correct, General Shiva. <laughs> I know how formidable an enemy you make. I'm glad to have you as an ally instead. The, the reason he was so strong is because he had us swimmers on his side. Papa, your face is all red. You keep quiet, Sonny. Now, tell us what Bread's up to. His goal is to gather up the last five extant Aquanium capsules in the world. And use them to restart Garum, the Flying Fortress. The Flying Fortress? The former Peachy Mothership, which landed in Flatland so many years ago. After being modified for battle, it's said to have been the world's most powerful warship. It's unclear how much of this is true, but rumor has it that it took only three days for its terrible weapons to send Flatland, the world's wealthiest, most advanced nation, to the bottom of the ocean. So, it's better than even Zeyu's fortress? Without a doubt, if its capabilities require five times the Aquanium to power. Wh what will they do if they ever manage to get it working again? Well, Bread will have the power to bring the world to its knees. To hell with that! After breaking free of one oppressor, I'm not bending to another! I share that sentiment. Which is why we... Longo! 
Excuse me. It seems I have urgent business to attend to. I will probably be occupied for some time. So why not rest up in the meantime? We'll take you up on that. We're awful tired from swimming here. Let's make the rounds of the camp. We should take the chance to gather whatever intelligence we can. All right. Sorry about earlier. <laughs> a laudable attitude. Cowed by the prince's might, are you? Don't get ideas. I'm apologizing only because Longo told me to. Are you apologizing or trying to pick a fight? <sighs> Sorry! Okay, okay. I think that's enough. By the way, do you know anything about the Flying Fortress Garum? Well, I'm just a new recruit, so I can't say I know much. Udo says activating it would be like restarting the war that nearly destroyed the world 50 years ago. I have a hard time seeing it as some terrifying doomsday weapon, but if Udo says so... So it's capable of destruction that would make the bomb that all but wiped out the Peachy look like a firecracker. <sighs> You're those demons from before. Remember me? Not really. It's pretty hard to tell all you humans apart. Hmm. Hmm. So demons have difficulty distinguishing humans, do they? What are you doing? Taking notes? Well, um, you know, knowledge is power. Especially for wimps like me. If you're weak, what are you doing in the resistance? I'm a royalist. I want King Jam back in charge of this country. Everyone here would say the same. And that's reason enough to lay down your life for him? I'll never understand humans. Hmm, fascinating. So demons struggle with the idea of self-sacrifice. Why, that's not true at all. I'd gladly give my life for King Lucifer. What about for me? Uh, <laughs> I, I suppose I'd at least lay down my whiskers for you. Okay, probably should have seen that coming. Bien, where's Longo? What's wrong? You look agitated. We found the princess. What? Say no more. Longo's in the command center. Heard that, Prince? Let's go see Longo. Sure. Dan? Yes. 
Rosetta's tank brigade has stopped at Endmill Base, to the northeast. The Resistance will set out in pursuit with all possible haste. If you're willing to lend us a hand, please head to the base as well. Change up.